Okay, so I know you guys did color a cell when I wasn't around and you had Miss Ferrari, um, but I do want you to have access to this in case you need it at home because I know you don't all have sex books. Um, so over here, you have the nucleus. Over here, the vacuole, the mitochondria, the chloroplasts, which are always bigger than the mitochondria, um, which you'll learn about, will have learned about because you'll have done the plant cell lab and you can see chloroplasts, but you can't see mitochondria. Um, the little, little dots are the ribosomes. Um, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And Ms. Ferrari had left me a note. These are always attached to the nucleus. The endoplasmic reticulum is like right up on the nucleus. And the Golgi apparatus, I know it looks similar, especially when the picture gets smaller, is not attached to the nucleus. Um, and then microtubules and the cell membrane and the cell wall, which are pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then the cytoplasm, which is like the jello that holds everything together. Um, so just so you have the functions as well, um, the nucleus is the part of the cell that controls growth and reproduction. It's like the brain of the cell. All the DNA is stored here. Um, the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. So they process food for energy. Okay, so this is where cellular respiration is going to take place because this is like your power plant if this was like a city and you needed energy. Um, vacuoles are storage containers for plant cells. Animal cells have them too. They're just smaller. Um, but they store water, keep unwanted substances out of the cell, um, help maintain pH, which remember is whether something's an acid or a base. You want it to have a pH of 7, nice and stable. Chloroplasts perform photosynthesis for plant cells. You're not going to find them in animal cells. are used to transport proteins throughout the cell and also provide structure, like a highway system. And you can tell the difference because the rough endoplasmic reticulum has little ribosomes stuck all over it. Um, and this is where proteins are made, so where the genetic code from the nucleus is translated into proteins. So synthesis means like to make, so you're making proteins. And then the Golgi apparatus packages those proteins up, but also produces lysosomes, um, microtubules, again, thick protein tubes that either help move the cell or move chromosomes during reproduction of the cell through either mitosis or meiosis. Mitosis, if you're looking at this. Um, this what am I at? The cell wall <laughs> provides support and protection for the cell. Um, again, you're not going to find it in an animal cell. And then the cytoplasm holds all the organelles of the cell except the part one.